can make a fake kobold. Oh and wait. Have, and then we can like set like a fishing line, tie rope to the neck, and then hide in the trees and lure kobolds in. Depends. This is the one I kicked in the throat because I don't think he has a neck anymore. And then we'll kick you off the tree onto the kobold. <laughs> okay, so just to clarify, does anyone want the kobold bones? And if not, can I have them? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Well, um, let's put in. Let's put most of our loot, except for what we're actually using, into sort of like a community stockpile in the wagon, and then we can. And then if there's something, someone laid a specific claim to, we can bargain. That is it. Someone, I look at this road. Okay. That's our. Well, map. can we just uh, document how many we actually have then? Yeah. I'll yeah. For now, we're note. individually carrying things, but once we have our wagon, we'll have the wagon waiting. That'll be communal. So for now, it's yours. Have we no, decided I mean, on how many yet. cobalt bones are there? There's four. All, I mean, counting the ones from last battle. So that'd be 11 times... Or, plus four? 15 spots. So, 15. <laughs> with one with a broken neck. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them with broken necks, and one without a pelvis. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. So you got the mix and match in here. I think part of his bottom of his spine, too. <laughs> You're not a very nice person, you know that? They're aberrations of the Lord and the Kingdom. So you punch and nature. Ass, you and punch nature. His balls off. No, I, ah. I punched him into his self. Oh, right. Okay. Thus, <laughs> crushing his remember, pelvis into remember smithereens. Remember I was doing this entire... Yes, I know. I've seen imagery. It's glowing. It's not really obscene. It's just... A divine glowing <laughs> cock punch. Think about this. Okay, <laughs> that is not obscene to you. Not really. I mean, if, if, like, some random Catholic priest walked in here, they'd be screaming blasphemy, can't have to be burned. I'm or really... depending on the Catholic priest, might be asking him to go into a confession booth privately or something. Well. <laughs> fucking punch! There's no cleric here to do that. By the way, since we're here, what is the price and weight of, like, the miscellaneous stuff from your adventure? Like, the sticks, the prison Sticks are pretty much... <laughs> Lumber. So, how much? What's the going rate of lumber in this okay, land? Also, describe the stick. Like, is it like stick or stick or like four by four? It was a. It was a. Think of it like a average not, tor torch length. Yeah, it's a torch. It was a torch that was blown out in one pound. Just put it as a, as a torch Actually, price because that's pretty much. Wait, it. is it sturdy wood or is it like not so great quality wood? It's a torch. Whatever. Just use the torch stats one for that. Pound. It was a burnt out torch. That's what I have in my, my notebook. Okay then. And I have ten of them, so there's another ten pounds. <laughs> Great. Prisoner guards are pretty much the same as regular cloth armor. Uh, you said there were four of the one pound each. Yeah. So uh, uh, price wise though? About the same as the cloth. I, the, I was supposed to say they were wearing cloth. So. But you didn't want to because they were ripped to pieces or something. Yeah, and then you ended up, t and you take everything except the ones infected with hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't know they had hepatitis. None of us had a nature check of that. <laughs> so, let's see. Damn it, magic items. Wait, damn it, adventure loot's above stuff. Yeah, here, torch, 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 uh... But it's useless as a torch, so... There actually is... Actually, no. There he it is. He looted like six. One SP, yeah, one pound. So oh, yeah, he can make torches out of that. So it's less than one silver each? Yes, it's about, 50, about 30, 50, 30 copper or something. We can make right. a self propelling cart. <laughs> we need coal, man. No! no. We add in one of those platform things that you see people that go on train tracks that they go up. And down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, train tracks. They actually, you know, can only go one engine. way. <laughs> Two ways, except no, it actually has a set path. We have a steering column, and then we put that for the back. So we oh set god, up. we're gonna have an entire car platform. Uh, <laughs> yes. Wait, do we actually have the Can knowledge we make Rick's in order to create do this? a hover car? Technically, yes. I've got high you put the wagon. Except it's only once a day, and then the part goes away. I thought it was for ten hours. That's where. 24. That's where the two missing people are went. They became our engine. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, let's make a freaking hover car. Rex, can we use... We're going to build a platform to put on the magic disc. Oh, uh, problem. What? Uh, the, Rex, your uh, floating disc can only hold 500 pounds, right? It can hold uh, It can hold a minimum of 500 pounds. That's if you roll one. Oh, so, but, so you uh, have to yeah, roll you have to, to make a, much. You have to make an arcane check. 
nine or lower is two hundred and fifty ten to twenty four is five hundred twenty five to thirty nine is one thousand and four hundred or forty or higher is two thousand can we assist you in this role with our arcane or arcane we can actually um, yeah I think so yeah oh, well okay we hey. you want to summon this magic disc so if we can hopefully use find us. a town <laughs> it floats right yeah, it floats uh, one foot off the ground. What's the propulsion rate? Uh, f five squares. Uh, well, no, six squares. I can <laughs> command it to move at my rate. <laughs> it's faster than us. Floating, we got, we got some, we got a floating car. Sweet. Uh, I feel like we're cheating. <laughs> yeah. Only a little bit though. Okay, we spend. Let's spend a night building this wagon though. An entire night. I have night. an alternate. For Idea. Okay. We can use that as a supplemental propulsion to the wagon, so even if it yeah. can't carry everything, it'll make things so light one person can easily push it along. Okay. Yeah. Alright, how about <laughs> Alright. And then I propose also backwards engineering your magic stone so we can make it have a fix its permanence effect to the two magic things so it doesn't have to be recast all the time. Which stone? Is the little magic. Oh, doom. Oh, magic, magic doom. doom. Yeah. <laughs> Create some arcane feedback loop so it constantly makes sure the magic disc meditates. That's gonna be a high arcane check because that thing's supposed to be. A <laughs> yeah, we have the whole night to roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but even with us all rolling twenty or one rolling twenty and then having the modifiers, that's like archmage level stuff. John was talking about. Yeah, that's supposed to be. You need you need s someone level thirty. <laughs> Why would it be? Because if you can already make magic items. Uh, it because be a it's a magic ma item level 30. No, I'm saying so. It should be a simpler, a less complex task to repurpose. You can put a bag of holding, but we didn't find one. Yeah, yeah. it's... Remember, it's a high-level magic have, have, item. Have, have, have a, have, have, we can use it. We can mount it on the front as we a just battery can't ram, it. so everything we can charge at gets the minus four. How big is it. this wagon going to be? Well, let's see. We've got, like... Is that like... Yeah, it has a... It has a then. We have, like, a space for the magic disc, and we have this cargo egg. Think like it... Like a six-wheeler, like, like what, what I just mean on the board. How how many spaces is that gonna be? <laughs> this entire thing. I think so. Yes. <laughs> that's like a truck. Dude, okay. that's huge. Dude, ten feet. It's a. It's. How We've about, got a whole forest. Dude, to make ten it feet work. is four by four. Dude, it's only gonna. Yeah, this is gonna. This is gonna be. Yeah, just. Or two, two by two. It's four. Make it how about we just like? Long. Yeah, two by two. Yeah, two by two. No, four, four. Dude, that's fucking this. We can't fit it on the road. <laughs> Remember, that's 40 <laughs> feet by 40 feet. How about we just... How that's about, just more weight that we don't need. <laughs> how about 20 by, 20 by 20 feet? That means 2 by 2 squares. Let's think about that. That's not even enough to carry all of us on one per square. We'll, lay, we'll, we'll Dude, stand... Dude, we're not going to have it carry us. We're having it carry our shit. <laughs> what if we want to ram it into something? One guy can control it and come Dude, it's a rickshaw. <laughs> it's a rickshaw. We don't have a horse yet. You can't really ram it into shit. I can't summon horse. I thing. <laughs> it needs a track. No, it doesn't. It grabs him. Dude, we're just going to rickshaw it. I mean, we're just going to rickshaw for now. Come on. Fine. Until we can get a horse to attach it to. Or <laughs> buy a real wagon. Or a slave, whichever. <laughs> Seriously, just something that has wheels that we can put shit on to move the things. A pull with a blueberry on it? <laughs> That would, work. <laughs> that would work. Ah, that's a good one. By the way, since prisoner garbs are one fourth of the weight of clothing, I did one fourth the price for. Yeah. But yeah, this pebble this... is worth nothing, right? Huh? Pebbles are worth nothing, right? Uh, yeah. That's the point. That's. Do they weigh nothing for being so small? Uh. I mean, candles weigh nothing. So. Yeah, no, it's not. By the way, yeah, our, ca our uh, uh, wagon will be able to ca carry uh, 1,000 weight worth of items. Only 1,000? Per cart. Oh, well. So do we each want our own, or... We can make a sailing ship, but I don't think that'll be anything good in the forest. <laughs> hey, it worked in freaking Pirates of the Caribbean. We just need a bunch of crabs. Rick, <laughs> start approach with dissertation. <laughs> All right. I was going to ultimately suggest we could just make a giant carriage for the ship. And have the ship be our storage container. And we use magic to, to, to make it lighter, so it would work. I don't think... Dude, a, a sailing ship carries 150 tons. That's yeah. 150,000 weight of items. Okay, we'll make Not to mention the price of the boat. Like 10,000 GP. 
That's cost, <laughs> not weight. Yeah. It's like, we need to cast inflection quick to the force. Then we come out rolling this giant thing. 10,000 gold points, please. There's no river around here. I want my money. <laughs> that actually... I pay you for to do this. See, you might be breaking the game a little more than you were expecting right now. Yeah, let's just make our damn cart with our... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna yeah, let's what? call it an improvised cart. It's not actually worth as much as... Once we get higher level, we can work on the flying ships. Yeah. And flying carpets. Yeah. Okay, what? I'm gonna... They have flying carpets. It exists. Uh. <laughs> yeah. How much is the silver platter worth? Because it's silver. <laughs> gold. Okay. Wait, a silver is worth a gold. It's a pretty yes. good platter. It's a really ornate platter. Okay, then. Uh, how much does it weigh? Hold on, hold on. I'm doing a calculation right now. What's a platter? Weighs a, weighs a, you have to be able to hold it. <laughs> it's about three. It's about three pounds. Well, because if it was ten pounds, then I would have been making a heavy item. Yeah, it's for three, pounds. It's three yeah. pounds. You never hit anywhere. It's only it's only a tea tray big enough to carry a kettle and two tea <laughs> and a two tea cups. Yeah, dude, it wasn't that big even when you described it. Was it? It was so much. Platter, so. <laughs> That's not an Asian platter. It's more of a more of a Western European platter. By the way, tea leaves don't weigh anything, right? No. <laughs> okay, good. Unless you've got like twenty pounds of it. Or something. No, because I have a hundred candles and they all weigh zero. So twenty times or <laughs> yeah, zero times hundred. Yeah, they only give you two squares worth of freaking light. Of dim light. <laughs> of dim light. <laughs> I can't say shit, Captain. <laughs> yeah, only I would be able to use that. Oh, yeah, he's a dragon. Feet. Feet. Did you get the feet? I mean, next, I'm getting it next time. Yes, we haven't actually gone anywhere dark by the time we do. It's How much are tea leaves worth? Huh? How much are tea leaves worth? Considering how much we got? One copper. About 20 copper. They're really, uh... That's fine. That's the, that's the vendor price, so... Yeah, divided by five is... Yeah. One copper, please! Same with brown cords, it's tea. <laughs> what about uh, pencil? How much does that weigh? And zero. Zero. <laughs> okay, how much is that worth? Five cents? Five five copper. Freaking Russian pencils in our D and D. So okay, the two L's are pretty much tending to Alcor, uh, finding some way to kill Alcor. They're all skipping in the forest and haven't come back yet. <laughs> yeah. They're getting drunk off blueberries. That's why there's no blueberries in Pinto Elf cookies. They're not allowed to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> it totally makes sense now. Alright. Um, Blueberry eaters are not. Okay. You, we're going we're gonna to combine your sticks and my javelins. And do you want, have any, how many javelins do you have left? Well, how much is cold blue leather worth? Also, I pick them all back up. How much is cobalt leather worth? I have seven javelins. How so much is cobalt leather worth? <laughs> Five silver. Five silver for four pounds of cobalt leather? Yes. It's yes. Very high quality. The rather thin project. But it's the little ones. Yeah, they're not really weight efficient. They're weight to cash efficient. Well, they're we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, they're we're crafting gonna, items. Considering how easily they're hit. These ones were, the last ones weren't. We couldn't hit them for <laughs> shit. Huh, Rex? No, we couldn't. Alright, okay. We have 20. Okay. That's because half the guys were there were tripping balls on blueberries. <laughs> okay. Okay, um. Just to get on with the game a little bit, we're gonna get a. We're gonna craft a wagon. He has how many? 27 javelins. How much yes. is Magic Doom worth? I will contribute five. It's worth. It's a level 30 magic item, no, so I'd say. Uh, Priceless. I, I contribute four javelins. Sure. Wait, I just want to see this. How much does a level 30 magic item weigh? It's probably around about 1,000 astral, uh, astral diamonds. Uh, silver? Well, <laughs> 3 million gold. <laughs> well, okay, it's about 3,000 So I could diamonds. sell it for uh, 625 No one in this area would take it. That's not the point. <laughs> The fact is, it's worth that much if it's I could worth, find... It's worth it, yeah, if you find someone. But, again, that's... Hey, Rex, want to buy it? It's 625,000 gold. What is it? Uh, the magic uh, gnome? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's, unsell it's unsellable because no one will take the cursed, cursed thing. 
until you can purpose them out. Yeah, until, until you can make it so it doesn't okay, kill. Uh, just for you know consistency, I'm gonna put the actual price though. Okay. Doesn't mean anyone will buy it, but yeah, because one, I don't think anyone in this godforsaken kingdom has that much money. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're still not all the princess. Dude, we're still in the forest outside of an exploded Dude, keep. It costs so much that it actually extends past Your the limit. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. I might have to rescale that a little bit. Yeah, seriously, it's uh, as a prop that uh, I, I didn't look. I, I forgot you guys were gonna loot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you probably should have kept that in consideration. Think that one through. <laughs> By the way, it's sealed letter wintergrass. It's a quest item. Thus, it sells Works for nothing, right? Sells for nothing. Weighs nothing. Tastes like nothing. Well, no, it actually, tastes like something. It tastes like something, but yeah. By the way, I could flavor it. Wand of Accuracy, uh, which one call it? That's the Wand of Power, right? I think so. I, I forgot. Since the, it doesn't actually exist in the... Yeah. That was a custom item, more or less. Yeah, that's pretty much plus... It was a level one magic item. That was level or three. Level three, yeah, sorry. Low, so, low ass level magic item. Still so, uh, it still cost uh, 680. Yeah. I'm going to use my calculator, because I don't like doing that. Oh, it's silver, just to tell you, it sells for full price. What do you mean? It, like, uh, since it's a fine, uh, fine, I uh, fine art item. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it sells for full price. Full Yay. Price. A silver platter, because it's an actual piece of furniture. <laughs> if you can, not to a store, but, you know, someone will buy it. It is slightly dented, though, and you might want to take that. He missed. So. I missed. He missed with the hit. Did you miss, or did you hit the armor? You missed completely. You rolled, like, a freaking... I got like a one or a four. You got a two. You got like a two. You got oh. a two, dude. Yeah, I got okay. really. That really was a low. that was a near critical miss. By the way, quivers is since that's considered as part of yeah, it's part of the ammo thing. usually. What would you uh, put for price and weight? It counts as the ammo. I don't know. So I'll just put zero price and zero weight. Yeah, it's the ammo cost. All right, so we build this. Uh, how many sticks do you have, dude? Uh, ten, I think. All right, Let's so we see. have. Stick. Ten. Okay, we have ten. We have ten sticks, and nineteen <laughs> and twenty nine javelins. We can so totally make a wagon out of this. Yeah, that's a great idea. And, <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, we need wheels. Let's repurpose some daggers. Uh, there's a giant tree there. Go get Alcor's axe. <laughs> we don't have Alcor here. Shit! We don't have an axe. We're looking for blueberries. That's why we go get him. Well, we can use my long sword. I might as well use it in a machete since I'm not using it in combat anymore. <laughs> you are severely denting your sword. <laughs> my sword you are is... You dulling your sword and you have no fucking ah. Alright. We're going to make a wagon. I'm going to I'm gonna take out uh, minus my stick, my javelins from my inventory. And can you donate your sticks? Okay. And your javelins? Or do you... <laughs> Okay. See, and you said, oh no, that's stupid. You don't want to loot sticks. <laughs> you could have just looted okay. from the forest. I will donate them, but I claim rights over, you know, you guys saying, haha, that's stupid. I get to say, haha, told you so. How about That's okay. my only condition. <laughs> I'm going to go gather some wood. I also get to set you on fire while you're in a forest. <laughs> Do you want to risk that? You don't know whether or not my sanity is <laughs> quite up to par. By the way, Rex, the camera's still on, right? Yes. Okay, good. Yes, <laughs> so you can see him prancing around the forest, right? Yes, I'm I am looking can. for whatever if, wood that we need to finish our wagon. If, if, don't take more than you need, otherwise I'll shoot you. Okay, I got enough sticks to make a wagon. Rex Wait, likes nature. Uh, well, nature god. Okay, so I tell you pretty much. All right, let's jury rig this wagon. Yeah, not so much a tree hugger, just uh, respects nature. Just na uh, following a nature god and part elemental, actually. Remember, thunder and lightning and yep, magic missile. Okay. Eldritch packed fay. So. All right, so we need a wagon symbol because we finally crafted a wagon. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. We can multi-class at uh, level. first level if you want. Mm-hmm. I was, I was going. To, it yeah. just takes your feet. I was going to multi-class mage, but I figured out it was actually stupid for my class because I benefit nothing. Okay, None here's our. Okay, that's not our wagon. I'm trying to find. Again, this. stop putting this on the board, please. Okay. Let's see, and take pictures a... liberally. <laughs> see, I could go look for some Lego stuff. Yeah, just a wagon. Fi- yeah, find the find the Lego something or. Whatever. So how big is it? Uh... It's a two by two, two by two inches. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah. These print these pictures come out really good though. Yeah, it looks like a looks like a map. Okay, which of these look like a looks looks like it could substitute as a wagon? You can take half the stack. Fiery boobs. Fiery boobs? What? Fiery boobs. Okay, fiery boobs. I'm gonna go grab some more water while top off while you guys take care of the wagon. Okay. All right, so we have the wagon, we have all our loot set, and we just shove whatever the f- in there. Okay. Ah, that was a fun. That was this is a fun session. How do you like the new setup? Be too big. Yes, it's a uh, two by three. Oh, wait, that's a short car. Yes, yes, it is. I think I saw that before. I wanted that. I think. I, how about we? Yeah, I think I'd compromise for that. Two by three. That seems like a good size. <laughs> Thirty feet. <laughs> Rex, how big is your disc? My my disc. It is. Uh, I didn't write that on the card because. Uh, Actually, oh, yeah, that's about the a second. big ass wagon, but. My disc is my disc is immense. It Actually, is, no. Look, it's two by two. You can look at the wheels. My disc is three feet in diameter and one inch deep. Okay, so it's actually really small. It, it's it yeah, but it can balance stuff. What I mean is, uh, one square is five feet by five feet. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's so it centers on. Okay, so it's a, let's just say it's a two by two. Okay, yeah. Okay, and it can travel on roads. Yeah, Only roads? Right. Huh? Only roads? Wait, cool. this might actually fit. I have to <laughs> adjust the feet, but... Dude, that's awesome. He's humping the shark. Rex is riding it. <laughs> Ride him, cowboy! John, you should totally take a picture of that. Give me a camera. I have to somehow fit my boots on it. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. It doesn't want to stay. These are really good pictures. Let me see. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Glad I asked you to bring that. Look, this is your hands. I don't like my hands. You should not do that. It makes me feel bad. So have we uh, distributed you the uh, loot yet? And now, uh, why does this keep saying inconsistent formula? I can't what carry any more. Cra- I can I can technically carry more. more crap, but I don't want to at this point. Yeah, I'm leaving everything except for. I say leave all the shit on the wagon. Yeah, except for the mask. That I want to fix to my shield. Because I I'm gonna need to find some kind of forge in order to uh, to armor out our uh, our wagon later on. <laughs> Okay. This is gonna be an awesome wagon. So in that case, I should just add the stuff to my uh, what you call it, it's inventory like, right. for it's now, I guess. Wagon. Huh? So should I just add the stuff to my inventory so we keep track of it, since it's here? Or do you sure. want to keep track of it separately? No, keep track of it on your Excel thing because that's my. Okay, so uh, can you uh, re-go through the Numbers. contents? I can add them. Yeah, just give them the card. Or you can just read it out so it's easier since I'm typing. And I'm doing it at an angle so it's a little awkward. Two scale armors. Okay, scale is here. Okay. 
two heavy shields. Heavy shield. Two. Oh, we get, we get one, because I took one. Okay, plus one. Two short swords. By the way, I'm doing a zero plus two, so that it uh, By the way, shows up. Separately. Heavy shield is in my weapon slots, just to tell you now. My heavy shield's in my weapon slot now. Yeah. How many kobold bones was it altogether? Let's see, 15 14? Skeletons. 15? Okay. Those are mine. <laughs> 225 pounds of kobold. <laughs> Plus their leather, so... <laughs> That's almost 300 pounds of kobold, damn it. <laughs> and you wouldn't let me keep the organs. Yeah, after that, our, our wagon would just be kobold corpses, and it'd stink after a while. <laughs> At least without plague ridden. <laughs> well, we could be death knights. I say, I say, we tag them. Uh, we like, we make a case for the magic doom and have it as a rope at the at the end of our, our wagon, so it doesn't curse the. Uh, the... No, this keeps me away. You guys away from my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure, if you bleep. Okay, uh... I mean, sure, if you put it in the back, it's only going to affect the, you know, the back one, so it won't affect the person pulling the cart. Actually, if it's in the cart, it's going to affect everyone. Uh, if it's in the, if it's in well, the it's going to affect the entire cart, I mean. Yeah. One dagger. Wait, so would the person be counted as in front of the cart yeah, or on it? Yeah, in front. Okay. Pulling it. Because this thing takes up an entire... Wait, so one dagger? Yes. One sling. Wait a second, I have to find dagger on my... One sling? Yep. Twenty bullets. I think I overkilled that one guy by using two encounter powers. <laughs> and see. yet he barely died fast enough. <laughs> hey, that was a big hit, dude. One just from modifiers alone I get added a sixteen damage to that thing. Yep. Without a dice roll. When an encounter is about to end, that's when you have to bust out all your encounter powers. Yeah, why not? Hell, I teleported yeah. behind him just because. And it took us half an hour to finish it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else? One glue pot. Uh, that's the special ammo, yeah. right? Yeah, except that there's various types of it. So I'm saying one glue pot. No, special ammo. There's like, there's a, like poop ammo and your flaming ammo. Okay, here's <laughs> but but it's the glue ammo, right? Yeah, it's I have that listed. Yeah, it's just the glue ammo. ammo. So how many of those? One. So there's just one glue shot? Yeah, he yeah. used the other one on you. Basically, uh, Kobold, uh, these guys, they gain three rounds of a special shot. Yeah. And it's either a stink pot, which makes minus he two He wasted the stink pot on me, by the way. Yeah, like minus two to attack until save ends. Or a fire yeah. pot, which is ongoing to fire until you save. I think I'd rather be on fire. <laughs> or a glue pot, which is... Okay, that wouldn't have hurt me at all, actually. So, What's he gonna do? Oh no, I'm immobilized. Teleport. Yeah, so he used two stink pots on you and he had a glue pot left over that he didn't use when you killed him. Oh, thank you for making him not leave over a stink pot. I appreciate that. <laughs> 14 damage just from You guys the probably would have been pissed for me looting it, too. <laughs> I can use it for something. Damn it, I wish I, I should have got Cord's uh, Divine Favor. Why? <laughs> It powers up all criticals. Oh, man. By the way, oh, it's divine favor. Was that it? Huh? Anything else? Um, wait. Okay. That covers thunder and that. So, one hide armor. Okay, hide. Ah, Excel is awesome. It is. It makes me feel smart. So a spear? One spear. One bone mask, but I needed that, so... Oh, never mind. My, uh, my channel divinity is not that great. Okay, that's it. Um, we got skill armors. Yep. Yeah. Yay. I am at... 589 pounds. <laughs> Wait, 589.85. We can't outrun a cube at this point. I can't move at this point. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, let's just put it on the wagon. Well, this is going to be considered wagon weight now. Yeah, I know, but like, you're all green. It's like, I want to... I'm not giving up my loot. And I have a got, nest. Like, the cube of ooze coming after you. <laughs> like, 10 hours.
hours later is I can put away from it. Okay, so let's decipher what we need to make a wagon and what we can just loot from the forest. Okay, we can make the basic frame out of the freaking wood that... And how do we put the, it together? Well, okay, we should use the javelins because... The javelin tips. They're already worked, so you don't have to spend time and stuff. Oh, no, we, uh, we, can, use the, we can use our hemp ropes. We can, but do is that what we're going to want to do? What's the most optimum way for us to make a wagon without losing all our stuff? Depending on the trees, you could try to get bark fibers and twine it together to make a rope out of that. John, go do that. Roll a check or something. Dude, you want me to roll checks? Yes. No. <laughs> put your shield down. <laughs> it's like, first, put your bloody shield down. Then see. And for a check, get minus six on checks. <laughs> yes, because you have your hands full. Uh, yeah, you can use his hands like, go strip bark. <laughs> I can't even use my hands to do anything. You'll just like try and use your shield to scrape off the bark. It's like saying you're when they have bottles stuck to your hands. Or glue together. I should totally glue your hands together when you're asleep. Glue all your shit. It's like, well, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, I'll beat you. Steps backwards slightly. You trip when one of your legs is glued to the floor. <laughs> That's what okay. I'll do. I'll glue, I'll glue your boots to the wagon. Man, we saw for an epic adventure where you became the three stooges of the human world. Pretty it's much. Pretty, it's dude, fun. I bite. Like, who cares? We're, 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 we're having fun. fun. Yeah. Alright. So, let's just say we created it out of... Let's melt down the bone for glue. How about that? Okay, how long does that take? How much glue does it make? And how much is it worth? <laughs> slash way. I'd say a skeleton would be worth about three glue pots worth. And it'd take five to six hours of work. Okay, I'm going to put this as an amendum to like sheet two of crafting recipes. <laughs> Cobalt bone plus fire equal. Plus fire plus water. You can use the spare heavy shield that we have as a pot. We can bang, we can just bang it with the bottom of you know. Bang Plus it. container equals glue three. It's gonna take about five six hours to bang glue, and then it'd have to cool for like another two hours. So, so overnight, yeah. Yeah, it's overnight. Okay, so <laughs> it one cobalt skeleton makes three glue. Yeah, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. How much is that free glue anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. We could build. Well, a I mean, how much does okay? How much does that weigh? For example. The glue pot. What did I say it was? Well, that was a glue shot. I'm pretty sure those are different. It's a pot full of glue, and I'm saying it was worth three of those. Okay, so. Well, should I just add it to the sling glue shot then? No, we're gonna use this no, to build it. Just, no, I mean sorry. as the item type. Oh. Uh, yeah, I just leave it as glue shot. Yeah, we can just use it for miscellaneous purposes. Okay, so it makes... Hell, instead of sling, I'll just say glue shot and put it as a miscellaneous item. Yeah. Glue pot. Okay, glue pot. Yes. Okay, so we're just going to melt down whatever skeletons we have since it not only... No, I'd say... If... <laughs> we're building an entire game. I know, right? <laughs> Crafting recipe and everything. Jeez. I'm sorry, Rex. We're very anal. Sorry, Rex. You know, I Funny. Okay, so you said it would take five hours to convert six, it? Six hours to make the glue to cool down for it to use it. So what you're I saying is it would take eight hours. Totally, yeah. yes. But I want that distinction clear because, you know, like, say, someone's coming at you, you can hurl flaming boiling hot water. <laughs> <at them. laughs> they will be slowed and they will be burned badly. But if it's cool, you know, it just gets sticky. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah, they take an. On I'll, I'll, I'll add an amendum to that. Yes. They take ongoing fire damage for up to three rounds. If they don't, if the saving throw does not go, then well, they are immobilized. Save, it could take two hours to cool down. That's saying until save ends. Until okay, save, save ends. <laughs> or for two hours, which in encounter time is <laughs> <laughs> forever. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Maybe even Orcus like would die by then. Hour escape from a un like oncoming tide. Da that's what you do. Throw burning glue on Orcus and just run. <laughs> He'll die eventually. It's like, get come after you. His feet are glued to the ground. Exactly. 
And he can't cast because his hands are glued to his chest. <laughs> or other various parts of his body. I'm going to say ongoing fire damage, though. It's not going to be too much. Let's say one. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking improvised <laughs> weapon. And it requires that, due to the fact it's a pot, I'd say... Eh, it's a dex throw. So don't let us do it. So one damage <laughs> per turn. And a dex modifier... Or, uh... Dex modifier to attack. Yeah. But seriously, okay, let's just melt down whatever bones we have and... Let's just Do we have the... enough containers to hold all of them? Because we have a lot of skeletons. No, we have a forest. Cut a section of log, hollow it out. You've got an improvised bowl. That is also flammable. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll catch on fire, thus not being a pot anymore. <laughs> it'll so be ash. Water, so We have to boil this thing for six hours. We have to test this theory now. Let's get a wooden bowl, put water in it, and set it on fire. I soak it, so it has to absolutely fully absorb the water. I'm pretty sure the water would evaporate and it would catch on fire in six hours. After a while. <laughs> a while, six well, hours. Yeah, yeah, that's why you'd have to keep constantly making sure it's wet. They use up a lot what of are water. you going to do? Pee on it? We don't have that much water. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure we wouldn't want to use pea glue. I say, I say we just go with the with our original idea of just bind it with rope at this point, and we'll we'll enforce well, it later. You need to secure it so the rope won't become a dumb idea. So like, we'll glue the rope. How about we just like make a raft and like jerry rig some wheels out of wood? I mean, we still do have the what you call it yeah, glue you don't shot. Need to make it fancy. Yeah. Just, like, How strong is that glue? <laughs> anyway. Uh, if we can keep like a four hundred pound thing or whatever it's fighting and mobilize until. So it's super glue. It's super glue. <laughs> okay. Super glue pot. How about we just like use, uh, I'd say one person's supply Very of hemp rope. Potent. Speaking of which, do you guys know where to find a certain brand of super glue called Zabigap? Do you think the big plant might have it? There's Internet? Some, like, Internet? I don't want to order it from the Then I don't know. I have no idea. Because yeah, I'm wondering if third party would have it. I want to go check because my manager told me. And sadly, you can't check their website because it's, it's not updated. Totally I know, I checked the other day. Oh, it's totally open. Go down there. Why is it closed on Mondays? Yeah, if you go check their products, they'll say, it'll show like, this page is ready to get edited by whatever company that put it up. I thought it was under construction. Because that's what I, when I checked, their entire site was, we're still working on things. Yeah, it says that, but if you actually click the products, it'll tell us that. Oh. It's like, this page it's like is like not ready to be edited or something like that. God damn it. Seriously, let's just like, uh, well, I put zero up in let's split half our ropes or something. I don't want to cut our ropes. Well, we don't have to waste all our ropes. Just, yeah. I mean, we have 50 foot of hemp rope each. Yeah, but this is, this is also a Combined, we have like 300 feet of rope. I think we probably need 50 at most to make a line that we can secure the glue. And you can probably, like, secure that since you're using good of rope for only one pot of rope. So what we have. Okay, so... Not to mention, we could just do it Ikea style and like drill holes in the side and use dowels. Yeah, and slot it together. Exactly. We can build that over one night, yeah. But you'd have to, you'd still want to secure it with glue, but it wouldn't take anywhere near as much glue. Either. I mean, the middle ones you wouldn't have to, as long as they're, you know, puzzled cor together correctly. Yeah, but it's extra insurance. It's, it's a rough what's, road. what's stronger, wood or bone? Cobalt bone. Because we could use those as dowels. I was thinking of using those for drills, actually. Cobalt bone? Yeah, you know, you like axle, then you like <laughs> put a spokes like wagon wheels, and then you bind it with a rope. Yeah, that would work. Yes, but how would we connect them? Because that would either require a lot of rope or a lot of glue. Not a lot of glue. Not really. It's a really good glue. It's really good glue. True. Hey, Wait, we'd only have to do this till we get to town. Wait, wouldn't the glue dry? <laughs> Or is this, you know, <laughs> video game logic, so that doesn't matter? It's video game matter, it doesn't matter. It's magical, it's super glue. It's dry, but that just holds strong. Yeah, but I mean in the pot. <laughs> oh great, now we have this pot it's that's... covered. Use some bit of cobbled leather, cover it. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Finally practical uses even as we speak. Hey, see, and the cobbled leather can use for... Furnishings inside. <laughs> Got a poster okay. with cobalt. I want to borrow some leather to make add ons into my tent to make it luxurious. To have like you have a tent? <laughs> don't you have to right, make one I first? Don't. My sister does that. Oh, she, she brought the tent. It's her birthday. I want to borrow a cobalt leather to make it her a palatial tent. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to charge you for that since we don't really know each other that well in game. It's my cobalt leather. I mean, I'm making a wagon to carry my stuff. Yeah. You guys wanted to pitch in for some reason, but I've been saying this for the last, or since the last. Uh, yeah, game. I'm good. I'm. I'm my father doesn't shit. really need shit, really. Yeah. I counter propose saying that this would be like one tent that all of us would be able to share it on our own. I already have a tent. Add I bought on, my own. Add it on to her stitch together. I'd rather have mine separate. You I guys are like weird. Dude, you're freaking <laughs> six foot five dragons there. <laughs> In heavy plate armor. <laughs> There's not enough room. That's why you stitch the tents together. Even with two tents, that's enough for two people. Again. You guys are two and a half people yourselves. <laughs> Make your own tent out of the. Okay, you let's. Make cubicles out of javelins and cobalt leather. Okay, cobalt leather. How much cobalt leather would it take to make a tent? And would you need certain stitching materials in order to combine them? Blue. Eight whole pelts, I'd say. Eight pelts for one tent? For a decent size one, yeah. I figure four to each side of them. Cobalt leather. And the straps used to make those Eight X. Yeah, just use sticks or javelins or something. For, uh... <coughs> so eight pelts. So eight and. Plus stick. Two stick or something. Uh, you can even. Dude, I skinned 88, or, uh, 44 pounds of cobalt. That's eight pounds, as in what did you get from the... Yes, I know, I'm just saying, that's a lot of cobalt. That's a heavy Actually, no, tent. plus these ones. I haven't skinned and boned them yet. Ah. Well, I haven't skinned them. <laughs> Technically boned. <laughs> that sounds wrong when I say... <laughs> Shut up, Rex. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> it's not appropriate. <laughs> it is hilarious, though. <laughs> Well, you guys still have your wagon problem. My wagon problem? I thought you wanted part of it, too. Dude, I don't care shit. I still have 50 wick at the moment. Oh, well. Yeah, trudging along with his giant backpack and his shield hand. I broke 600 pounds of dead gold. So I don't want to be just so like, put, put my hands to my shields. That's what I thought. Crap, I can't get them off. I wonder how that would work. John, why are you leaving? I'm not leaving him. I'm bringing the doggy. Uh, why are you bringing the doggy in here? No, it is almost two thirty, so I probably would have to get. Yeah, because we spent an hour talking about how to build a wagon. Yeah, well, we still need <laughs> to know. Okay, so cobalt leather times eight plus how many sticks? Two. And, and how would you attach the leather to the sticks? Three and, sticks actually. And the leather to each other. <laughs> um, rope. Ten sticks for one. A framework and a support. Damn, you have a high, high, you need a high quality tent. I was just in the two sticks and a sticky finger sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm just thinking for decent length, you know. Well, because no, you have to get the sticks to hold them down. I mean, okay, these are corner. torch length, dude. Do you want, like, Okay, I'll base? jerry rig it, three javelins. <laughs> yeah, so even ten opportunities. You know, I'm going to add that. Alternate uh, recipes. Or three javelins. <laughs> Okay. Okay, uh, what else though? Because how do you attach the cobalt leather to each other? Because what you need needle and thread for that? No. Which we don't have, right? Which you don't have at the or moment. glue. If we can glue, that would be like. <laughs> I feel like we're in arts and crafts at the moment. <laughs> well, we're. We're really... inventing a DD equivalent of duct tape. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we should totally invent that. Like, just get a. Should use my Dude, daily. Daily. We Yo, super glue. Cobalt leather lined with super glue. It's duct tape. It's super glue cobalt leather. That works. Yeah, there you go. Except that you couldn't storm because they'd adhere to each other and then you could separate. Well, you couldn't store them, but you make them as you go. Yeah. Making cobalt glue or cold duct tape is a standard action. <laughs> Applying it to someone's face, however. That should be a free yeah, action. I, I, I want to make a cobalt bench now. <laughs> By the way, I actually did add that as an attack. Bones wrapped it with leather and glued all together for reinforcement. Divine cockpit. I'm not quite sure how that would work. <laughs> well, this is uh, glue made from bones. So really okay. Cool. I'm going to do that right now. So I mean, 
the fact that the bones that. would probably shatter if you try and wrench anything. Not really, because you have strip of leather strengthening and support. The leather's not the supporting part. Remember, they died in a book. The thing that's supporting it is the glue, because for some reason that's super effective. It is. Okay, so how much glue pots would be needed in order to glue a tent? God, I'll let's not abuse the glue too much, because I have a feeling it's going to be like, we need a puzzle to get this thing into here, but it's not the right size or what <laughs> I put some glue on it. How did you know? How did you make it fit? Oh, I just stuck it in there and broke it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. It's glued in there. You can't remove it, and it was not the right piece, so you have now broken the puzzle. I like to take out my pickaxe. <laughs> I would like to break through the wall and make a DC forty strength check. No, screw that. Just take uh, take an extended rest and start pickaxing through it. It'll work. A month later, you finally took through the wall. You find out that there isn't much work here. <laughs> well, you guys aren't the most intelligent bunch. I can tell you that. Seriously, our cumulative int. Who has the highest int here? So, I'm at fourteen. Four. How much is it really? Four. What are you doing? Uh, adding a new glue. Punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do the what the actual thing, the actual uh, damage calculations, uh, like like so I can just bring it up whenever. Okay. Half level abilities for class, class zero non zero uh, feet, proficiency no. none feet I none. I So just four. <laughs> So you stab someone and it gets stuck to them with a giant bullet in them. Yes. <laughs> this is perfect for harpooning because I have no barbs on my javelins. Actually, applying the glue to a javelin would probably be a minor action. Yeah, so. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I start. I want my foot to have. I want my fist to have my crit. Okay. Javelin plus glue. Equals harpoon. <laughs> Plus rope. Yes, plus rope. Equals hard glue. <laughs> plus glue plus rope equal harpoon. Let's buy a harpoon at the pier. <laughs> I don't know. Are we gonna be able to get to a pier? Yeah. Who knows if we want to be near a pier? Or anything. I know. At this point, we're still in the same forest as the last two weeks. In the same exact field. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, we're still looting. <laughs> it's fun though. I was expecting this to last like one time, and I'm already like, okay, so at this rate, we're going to be done in another month. That's because we always stop so early because we all make plans, and by all, I mean you guys. Yeah, I mean, that's fun. It actually draws it out so we have more, so we have. No, more. it draws it out so that we can't do as much. It's still so fun. I want to get to my campaign. Well, look at it this way you can experience this going along and have more time to look. You've been doing that weekly. I've been doing that daily. Well <laughs> then, it'll be ready for actual publication. You can try to sell it to wizards after we're done with it. Like Actually, I was basing the structure of it off the other uh, supplemental own adventure thing written in the same format. In fact, I was questioning whether or not I should just take the PDF and like edit it. <laughs> so that I have the same... Uh, Pictures and stuff. What's mm -hmm. punching someone in the balls create a status effect, or that's just getting too much? Technically, it would in real life, but situationally, if they have actually, okay, they it's might not... have a cod piece or no testicles. Okay, yeah, that would be. If it was a female <laughs> cobalt, I guess. Or if it was just an asexual creature, or something that reproduced differently. I want to punch the jelly cube's balls off. It has none. I want to punch your new ways. Your hand gets stuck in there. You are slowly being drawn in. Oh shit. It's, how can a gelatinous cube get bloody? <laughs> the dead bodies inside of it are exposed. It, it, it starts liquefying. Okay. You know, like if you let jello out, it'll start to warm. Alright, let's try to get something done. Okay, we built the goddamn wagon. No, we didn't. We haven't decided exactly what we need to make wagon. Ah. We've decided what we need to make glue, what we need to make a harpoon, what we need to make a tent. Not wagon. <laughs> How about we just put 30, or like 25 javelins, plus like tw like 30 feet of rope. Oswin, what do you think? For the, for the base, and to make the wheels, we just carve trunks. 
at this rate. I'll go into the forest and use my longsword and carve a trunk out of, you know... Stuff equal wagon. That's what I got so far. <laughs> I think it needs to be refined. Seriously, just... We're not making the most fancy wagon right now. We're getting something that'll hold together. We're jury rigging something that'll hold together until we can make something that makes better. <laughs> but we don't know how long it'll be until we get to our second. I know, like I said, I'm just saying. Yeah, we for all we know, it could be a last. few months. Yeah. You know, because so, yeah, uh, that's. We want it to, be, we want it to last. It, we we're can say it lasts. We're just, we're, unless you're going to have, like, a thing where There's we have. There's DC checks for that, man. Unless we have a like a like you make a campaign where we have let's, to defend let's the part. Let's put it this way: the way you put it, it's cool. gonna rattle apart like after like ten feet on the road. <laughs> that would suck because then our loot would go like. Psh. Three pots of glue, twenty-five javelins, and two two uh, and like fifty foot of rope. How about that? I give you my rope. I don't have any use for it anyway. I can't climb shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> My shields! I will not give them up! <laughs> like, hold me up. <laughs> Here, you guys tied around you me. Just rope to yourself. You can't hold on to anything. Okay. How about that? How about that? Seriously. Something simple, something that's la that's lasting. Okay, so what was it? And do you all agree? 25 javelins and 50 foot of rope and what you call it? What is it? Carved wheels. We're going to make out of that dead tree. So scrap wood. Scrap wood, yeah. Large scrap wood. It's different. Okay. Plus one, plus, plus one wheel. Forestry plus blue pot. Okay, let's make this, let's make this bad damn wagon. I'm playing some wood so things won't fall between the curves of the castle. The okay, we'll say whatever. It's, we're... Just, use just the part of the scrap large We'll scrap go by wood. Minecraft logic. Let's make it, two, uh, what you call it, five large scrap wood. Okay, I, oh, then you can cut the wood and get the bark for rope and stuff. I go and start punching things with my shield. <laughs> okay, let's say one tree equals, what would you say, like ten pieces of large scrap wood? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> ten number. Mid tree. Okay, okay, we finally made this okay. goddamn wagon. Lower. No, you still have to subtract your. I already subtracted it. So did he. Oh, I thought you did. I thought you said you're donating four because I have exactly. I yeah, did, okay. but I didn't actually update my inventory. So we have exactly 25 javelins in there. Okay. Equals one jury rig wagon. <laughs> okay, so 25 javelins, 50 foot hemp rope, five lumber, one glue pot equals a wagon. Jury rigged rag wagon. That means we, <laughs> that way we can't sell it. Or like some profiting scheme or something. <laughs> no kidding. Although we might be able to do that with tents. <laughs> it's jury rig. G U R I. Wait, what? Isn't it jury rig? I don't know how you spell jury rig. It's a fancy word that I never use in a. J U R Y. Oh, jury? Yeah, jury rig. Oh, I thought it was jerry rigged. No, no like what? <laughs> no. Oh. Jury like you're rigging rig. a jury? Yeah, it's like when everyone votes against you. Oh, I thought it was something completely different. Yeah. I don't know. I have no jury idea. Jury rigged dragon. Okay, let's make this jury rigged wagon that's apparently in the shape of a shark now. I'm going to call it a pseudo widow dra wagon. <laughs> <laughs> it rhymes. Pseudo widow wagon. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to seriously make this entire page a crafting recipe thing for D&D. If All anyone right. wants it, they can just message us. Seeing it's like at the end, and what's his face is sisters, sisters, and them, and they're going to have to go soon. Okay, yeah, let's see, let's uh, let's go. wrap this up. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we have a wagon. We've got the wagon. How about we just like go off on the? Wait, wait, wait. The it's road. a two by two wagon, right? Though. They'll catch up. We'll leave. Um, we'll leave bread don't know where to find us. It's a this two by two like wagon, the right? The whole night to make, so we're still needing to get rest and stuff. So we're currently camping and we are loading our supplies and our loot onto the wagon. It's a two by two wagon, okay? Yeah. I, I just want to make sure so we can... So yeah, let's, let's end it up fast. Yippee! Okay, this episode we... right here is just going to be the crafting episode. <laughs> How about we just like... No, just so I don't have to see this map again. It's like crafting and ball punching. So I don't have to see this map again. How about no, we say we... Ball punching. We leave... Separate. 
we leave clues saying we're heading off on the top of the road. That way they can introduce one. They can be, they can run run back with us. Whatever. Uh, no, because we still have to wait the night to make the shit. I mean, after the after we craft everything. After we craft everything, the others meet up with us, and then we carry on. Okay. Just that simple, dude. All right. You don't have to be like, oh, they're not here, so they can't do actions. No, the DM can control them. He is yep. the puppet master. Yeah. Okay, so, so we're right here. I'm gonna have to see the, I'm gonna set the setup this goddamn map again. Good enough. <laughs> How about instead of that, we just say we headed down the road and we can make a new map. Yeah. Yeah. With the rest of the team though. Wait. Yeah. No. He means the next morning. Next next morning and after we like stuff's after, made. after everyone after stuff's made, they somehow. Damn it! We reset action points then. <laughs> I didn't get to use any this time. Me neither. <laughs> I should have just done a two-hit combo. I used mine. No, I didn't get to use my daily. I could have set something on fire again. I want to see where the cobalt's going to go. Well, yeah. they will head in that direction. Yeah, we'll head in that direction. We can't do a forest. We can't take our wagon with us. Yeah, we can. It's an off-roader. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was made from road. That's the difference. <laughs> no, it was made from the forest. We cleared a path. <laughs> this way. Enough, I guess. We found the trail from where they came, and so we now have made a mini road. Well, we were cutting down trees. Let's all, all that Alcor do that. He'll, cut, he'll chop shit down as we go along. Exactly. He's a barbarian. <laughs> Hell, no. <laughs> we, we can have uh, Alcor guard the stuff. Since yeah, he so won't be... Uh, yeah. The three of them, yeah. That would be a good way to write him off without killing him off. If he's still part of the group, he's just watching our shit. Yeah. We trust him, right? So, well, say there's a, there's a town at the end of this road or some okay, crap like so that. Okay, I can do official note. But, as, we are, as we construct the wagon, our... Three compatriots come back and I'm wondering, wow, where are all these bones and crap from? Then we found <laughs> that they are totally oblivious because not five feet away we were fighting for our lives and they were busy picking blueberries again. We also have we're a very upset with them. <coughs> they we also have a feel bad and stuff. We also have a set what appears to be a halfling. So they apologize. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, halfling. <laughs> so we apologize. So they apologize for not coming to aid us and. In return, they said that they'll stay to guard the wagon and our provisions while we go scout out the cobalt trap in the morning. That works. That being said, we all settle down for the night and we set up a watch as usual. Okay. Okay. And then your rival comes and chooses Charmander. <laughs> I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> Best quote ever. All right, let's uh, take one more picture of this. Make sure you get the rock. Just stand up so you can actually see what you're taking a picture of. Yeah, John, you're that not works. Tall. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do this. It's exactly one arm's length. Wait, take another one. It has to have my loots. Okay, loots. I'll try and find a better wagon. If I can't, well, we're stuck with that. Okay. Because technically, I could turn this into a wagon. It's got uh, Lego parts. That was fun. It's Lego. So we made a wagon and finally had shit to do. We can finally hunt down the Kobos. And we're finally moving... Forward. Yeah. Yay. I stole all your shit while you guys are left behind. Uh -huh. I don't have shit to steal. I didn't loot anything. I know. <laughs> well, you guys are all crazy. I'm just, you know. We're not crazy. We're oh, efficient. Oh, well, hey, the Keebler Elf's there? Yes. Yeah. Hi. 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 I'm L. But I, I forgot my own name temporarily because of the blueberries, so you can call me Keebler Elf. <laughs> and this is Alvina. Did you seriously forget his name again? Neil. Hey, yeah. there you go. But but I totally wanted to add in the blueberry height. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, and that's... So, okay. well, he's you don't have the yeah, help truck, truck, so I can't see him at all. That doesn't sound cool. Please say that the kobolds are the actual campaign in this. <laughs> okay, but your own picture is up. Spoil it. Uh, okay, okay. He, he just wants to know that we're actually on the right path. This isn't just a transition story. <laughs> in which we get to your campaign which would make him feel really bad yeah remember I designed this whole thing to last a single night yeah remember how a single night for us is like three months yeah but I designed this for a single night initially so we are not on the main campaign yet <laughs> that's what I thought yeah okay we should keep this for later we should hold but on to it I will tell you this there are rewards for being explorative 
Yay, I would like to backtrack into the chasm and, <laughs> and like, climb down and search for more magic stones. No, uh, we're not going near the chasm, because then you'll push me in. <laughs> you'll be safe, though. You could slow fall down. And, and then climb back up. Just like, oh. think of it as a thrill ride. <laughs> <laughs> we'll attach a rope to you so you can climb back up. I'll attach a rope to you and drag you with me. Well, there we go. We can have a climbing union. Just everyone tied to each other, and then one dude. And then they have John on top with Next his heavy armor. Let's start practicing our yodeling. I'm okay with that. Yodeling spirit. I should have just moment. go to town. Or the guard falls out with a yodeling. Really, shut up. And he hears a hiss in return. That's a form of yodel. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Who dragon yodel? <laughs> Dragons aren't very proficient at yodeling. I know you guys are still working on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not really new, just reinvented. Not new. Your paladin's great. This I, is... should have, I should have probably gone fire at this point. Probably. <laughs> A class that's actually meant to beat shit, <laughs> kick them in the balls, <laughs> so on and so forth. Man. If I knew about it, I would have gone, you know, total monk and start going psionic, uh, psionic punches, but... I don't know, Scion is a really complicated class. No, they just use the uh, Scion uh, as modifier on their name. Sandwiches, man. Sandwiches. They attack your fortitude, not the armor count. <laughs> yeah, well, we already have enough of that. Okay, so I have two fortitude skills. Uh, John, can you again? Uh. Look at my fat uh, boots. Fat loots. <laughs> I don't have that many fat loots. That, that's far. That's a lower representation of what you actually have, isn't it? Yes, because I my, actually uh, have a shitload of stuff, don't I? <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, John, don't forget your uh, beam. Uh, my, I'm looking for my uh, the other. The other what? What you call it? The thing that goes on top of this that keeps it closed. I took it off to open the thing. Oh. Is it by your wallet? Yep. Huh. Do you happen to have put it on something over in this area? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Ah, right here. I'm good at it. So, so Rex, how was your first game at D&D &D 4.0? Uh, that was, it was really fun. And thank you for letting me join in. You should get a yeah, webcam yeah. next time so you can have like your head floating. Yes. Like you're really here. <laughs> that would um, be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be a conference. I'm yeah. gonna work on that actually. Yay. This is fun. This is fun. It is. We should also plan out for our level three characters if we don't already. <laughs> Because seriously, we're like, what, 200 experience from leveling? Yeah, 300, I think. Oh, 300? Yeah, no. Oswin, 300. by the time we finish your campaign, we're going to be like level 15. So many mobs. Not enough stuff. <laughs> or too much stuff, I can't tell. I should be able to afford a bag of holding now, right? <laughs> you can trade the wagon for it. Dude, I <laughs> I still want a wagon of holding. Just think about it. It's a wagon. That's probably a like, level 20 magic item at that point. Actually, no. Well, I mean, unless you count like the portal of bowl thing. But no, the other uh, giant bag that's like five times the size of a bag of holding is only like level 15. Oh, I'm keeping this. I yeah, I mean, really it would just be like adding a framework onto that, and wheels. Or, even better, it's just like four bags of holding, uh, you know, <laughs> in a cart. Yeah, I mean, that'd be simple to do. I mean, it's a lot easier than nesting them, which is probably more efficient, but... You know what, I'm just gonna yeah. nest bag of holding. Just your quarters and such? No, oh, I thought those were yours. Oh, yeah, they are probably mine. <laughs> Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah, that would be it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. This is a what now? Bye, whoever 
Chris leaving? Everyone except for me. Oh, okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Good game, guys. Ah, uh, how long are we in there now? We gotta stop the recording now. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So yeah, that entire recording is just going to be crafting. <laughs>